Welcome to this video on simulating Golden Gate cloning with Genius Prime. In Golden Gate cloning, type 2S restriction sites such as BSA1 are incorporated into DNA fragments of interest, usually by PCR. Type 2S restriction enzymes cleave outside their recognition sequence to create a four base flanking overhang. Since these overhangs are not within the recognition sequence, we can customize them to direct the assembly of DNA fragments. Once digested with the type 2S enzyme, the addition of DNA ligase allows directional, ordered and scarless assembly of the DNA fragments to create the final product. That's a brief overview of Golden Gate cloning. Now let's simulate this process in Genius. Firstly, assess the DNA fragments of interest, also known as parts. Within Genius, select all the parts needed for the Golden Gate reaction. Next, to help with the sequence assessment, select the Annotations and Tracks tab and tick the Primer Bind. If you're interested in open reading frames, tick this option too. Be sure to confirm that none of your insert sequences contains any unwanted internal Type 2S sites. To do this, switch to the Restriction Analysis tab. Select Find Restriction Sites and change the candidate enzyme set to type 2S. To display the results for a specific enzyme, choose Advanced. Then select your type 2S enzyme from the list and click Done. Ensure there are no restriction sites within the regions you wish to clone. For example, you can see that none of the six sequences contains a BSA1 restriction site inside the open reading frames. You should also be aware of any primer bind annotations already on the sequences. If primers appear within your sequence of interest, as shown here, Genius will interpret this as a fusion boundary by default. We will show you how to prevent this later. Next, simulate the Golden Gate reaction using the desired DNA fragments and a suitable backbone vector. The backbone vector should contain compatible Golden Gate sites. For example, if you design your fragments to be flanked by BSA1 sites, your vector must also contain BSA1 sites. To simulate the cloning reaction, select all the files you need. Then click Cloning and choose the Golden Gate Type 2S cloning option. In the new window, ensure your desired vector backbone file is selected via the drop down menu or by selecting Use Leftmost. Then, Use the Enzyme drop-down menu to select your desired Type 2S enzyme. The preview window displays the different sequences in the reaction as grey tags. Between each tag are the overhang sequences created by your Type 2S enzyme. Simply drag and drop the tags to rearrange them to the order you need. Selecting a tag allows you to see the sequence used in the final cloning reaction, highlighted in blue. Under each sequence file name, Genius will tell you which Type 2S sites are pre-existing or if they will need the design of a PCR primer. For example, this backbone vector has two pre-existing BSA1 sites. However, this part contains only one pre-existing BSA1 site at the 3' prime end. Therefore, the 5' prime end will require a PCR primer to incorporate the restriction site. Genius will design a primer pair to incorporate the two restriction sites if a tag has the PCR product label. Adjacent fragments with incompatible sites are read and labeled mismatched. Next, ensure that each sequence in the Golden Gate reaction has the correct boundaries set up. If there are any pre-existing primer bind annotations in a sequence, Genius will assume this annotation defines a part boundary. To ignore specific primer bind annotations, Simply select the down arrow in the tag and change the primer option to design at 5 prime end or 3 prime end depending on your preference. You can adjust sequences with the wrong orientation by selecting the tag's drop down menu and choosing reverse complement. If your Golden Gate reaction involves the design of PCR primers, select save used primers and Genius will provide you with a file for each primer sequence. You can save intermediate products and save any new files from the simulation in a new subfolder using the panel below. Click OK to perform the Golden Gate simulation 
when you're happy with your settings. The final step is to review the newly generated files. The files will include any new primer sequences and the final plasmid. Select the new plasmid file to see a circular construct containing your recombined DNA fragments. Lastly, select all the primer files in the table to prepare your newly created primer sequences for ordering. Choose Export and click Export Documents. You can save the sequences in a .csv file, so you can refer to them when ordering the primers. Visit Genius.com for more hands-on exercises and tutorials.